Hi, today I'm going to show you how to build this small 1-200 scale control tower for your miniature airport. Let's get started. So what you're going to get in the kit is the PDF file that you use to print all the different parts that you're going to need to build the control tower. I recommend to use a thick paper, something like a cardstock paper, about 110 weight. Also for the top of the control tower, I recommend you print this also on a thick paper of a 60 pound glossy. It's going to look really good. Okay, so for today's project, you're going to need some kind of cardstock, very thick paper that you can use to build the different towers. You're going to need a pair of scissors, you're going to need an X-Acto knife with a new blade, you're going to need some tape, construction glue, and a ruler, and then a place where you can make all your cuts. Okay, so let's get started with the top and the bottom parts. Anywhere you see a solid line, that means it's a straight cut. Anywhere you see a dotted line, it means it's a score. A score is a cut, but it doesn't go all the way through. It's just very light pressure on the blade, so you don't want to go through. In the case of this star, you want to cut all the way around it and then in between that's where you want to make the score because all of these guys are flaps that are going to fold over so again the score is a very light cut not going through the paper so that when you fold it you get a nice uh, straight line so let's get started with this star what I like to do is I like to put my blade right at the line put my ruler next to it and then line it up with the next line over there. As I mentioned to you, the part that I want to score is this and then cut that part. So you can start with a light score and then do the actual cut. And we're going to do that all the way around. a light score and then a cut This one didn't cut all the way through, so we just have to So here's your star. Like I mentioned to you, when you do the scores, then you can fold these very nice and straight and easy. So let's do this one. I like to do my scores first. So this one, let's do the scores. And then we can do a cut. And then same thing, go around it. First the score. And then the cut. A score and the cut. Score cut.
Now what we need is to cut these little pieces here. You can do it either with the knife or you can use a pair of scissors. Okay, so once you're done with this, then you want to fold these little lips. And then get your construction glue. And then just put a little bit of glue all the way around it. And then fold those tabs inside. You kind of have to hold it a little bit just to make sure that it makes good contact. Also, you can turn it and just apply some pressure. So this is going to be for the top of the tower. Now for the bottom of the tower, you want to open this guy up, same thing, just put some glue all the way around it. And then fold in all these guys. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to strengthen the paper so by doing the fold and then the glue you get a nice strong base so same thing just put some pressure on it to make sure that it makes good contact and you got your base and then you got the top of the tower okay so now let's do the main tower again I like to start with my scores Just a very light cut, you don't want to go through the paper. Now the scores are done, we can do the cutting. For this little lip here, we want to do a small cut here and here.
So now let's cut the inside of the tab. I found it a little easier to do with the scissors, but you can also use your blade if you want to. Okay, so now you want to fold every side of the tower, including this lip here. And then put a little bit of glue on this lip. Line it up and make sure it's making good contact. Now, the one that has the door here, that's the bottom of the tower. What you want to do is you want to take the base that you already built and put a little bit of glue inside. And then use that line to line up with the tower. So just kind of play with it, make sure it lines up with the line, and you may need a long piece of wood or something just to tap on the flap, so make sure that it makes good contact. So again, just make sure that it lines up with the line. And just to hold that in place until it dries, you may want to put something heavy here on top. Maybe something like your mouse. So there's your tower. Okay, so before we assemble the tower, I want to give you a tip. Because these towers are made out of paper, they tend to be very light and they can tip very easily. So what you want to do is you want to put some weight in here, maybe some gravel or some pebbles. Or what you can do is get an old stocking, fill it with about a third to a quarter cup of sand, just put it in there, and that's going to give it a nice feel, and it's going to make it very hard to tip. Okay, so next we're going to do the observation deck. Again, these are all scores. Anything here in the middle is going to be score, 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 because these are going to be folding and also you want to score here, 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 all the way around for these little flaps that are also going to fold and then you know cut all the way around. Again, 
I would recommend that you print this one on a glossy paper to give it a really nice uh, glossy look, you know, because this is supposed to be glass. So again, let's get started with the scoring. So you line up your blade here and with the line down here. And then you do a very light cut. And then go all the way around it. So I do a score and I do a cut. Then, like I said, these these are a little funky because you have to line up with these little dotted lines. So don't get confused. Just make sure that you see the complete flap in there. So get it lined up. score and a cut Now that you want to cut these little areas here, again you can use your blade or you can use the scissors. Sometimes it's faster just to use the blade. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to fold every single one of these. And then you want to get a little piece of tape and put it right next here to the end here. And then just fold this one and then fold this one over and make sure they meet. So you end up with uh, something like a ice cream cone look alike. Now fold these little flaps and then you want to get the top piece that you did before. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it around and then this guy is going to go right inside here. So just get your glue 
put a little bit of glue on each one of the flaps and then just like we did before kind of stay within the line so just kind of put it like that and just make sure that it stays within the line. Now this one you may have to hold for a little longer to make sure the flaps make good contact. So again just, uh, just make sure that it's again stays within and just hold it down until the glue has set and then you're going to end up with uh, the top of the tower okay so now let's work on the top part of the tower again we want to start with the scores and then we do the cuts so we go score in a cut and then we go around. This one is very similar to the other one that we did for the top. It's just a little smaller. I'm going to go with this one again. I like to do my scores first. Now this one here you want to score here, but then this part you actually want to make this little bit of cut. So you do the score first, and then this little piece is a cut. You do your score first, and this little piece a cut. So now we can get these diagonals out of the way. Again, you can use a scissor or you can use a blade.
So that's the one part. On this one, same thing, you want to cut this little end part. Okay, so now we fold all these tabs and then we put a little bit of glue around. And just like we did before, we want to fold them and glue them. These are a little tougher because they're small. But again, just make sure you get them all in there. It's probably easier to, once you have them like here, then just fold it over and then just add some, some pressure to make sure they all, they're all glued down. You may also want to put maybe like a heavy book or something for a little bit just to make sure that all these guys are glued down. So let's put this side. Then on this one, same thing, we're going to fold it and then put a little bit of glue here and just fold this over make sure that it lines up and then we're going to fold all these tabs So once again, you want to put a little bit of glue on each one of the tabs. And like we did on the top, you want to use this edge to line up where this guy goes. So just line it up. Use the edge and then just press on the tabs. So you see, you use that little line to line up all the sides, and you end up with a little top part of the control tower. Okay, so now we're going to build this optional radar ball that's going to go on top of the tower. This one is a little tricky. Everything that's inside all of these will be scores because everything has to kind of fold to make the ball and then the outsides are cut. I didn't put the dotted lines in here because there's so much of it, it would be way too confusing. So the easiest way to do this one is to actual, actually do all the external cuts, get the piece out, and then do the scores. So that's what we're going to do. So once again, just, you know, pick whatever you want to, to start and start doing the cuts. 
just follow the lines. On something like this, you do want to cut all the way here to the end because it's going to be part of the flap. So over here, you want to cut from here all the way across. And then cut that little piece there. And then just kind of go around making your cuts. Okay, so now that you have all, uh, all of these cuts, let's go ahead and cut out first these corners, and then we do all the scoring. So we cut these out, so you can have these little tabs here. So again, this one is, is opposite to the other, other things that you do the cuts first and then the scoring. Usually I do it the other way around. Now this one you want to make a cut in there. And you want to make a cut in there. In there. And in there. Okay, so you're going to end up with that. Now you want to make the scores. So the scores are going to be all around all the tabs, you know, all the way around, 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 and then in between the pentagons. So all of these are going to be scores. So for that, I do recommend using the ruler because it's going to give you a uh, a little nicer cut. Now in here for example so you can do two at the same time just score it here and score it there. Score it here and here. Score it there and there.
Let's make sure that uh, I got all my tabs. Okay, so now let's do the inside of all the pentagons. So, right there. Right there. So now we have all the pentagons. Okay. So now let's cut this one out. It's going to be the same as the other one, so I'm not going to bore you with it. Okay, so I finished cutting out the two pieces. They cut differently. This one is a little easier because it doesn't have all the tabs. So let's get started with the assembly. This is going to be basically your base, and then everything is going to glue around it. So you want to put a little bit of glue here and here, and on this tab at the end. So now you kind of put that in there, then you kind of close around it. So first you want to get this guy glued in. And then you can press over here the different corners and make sure the tabs are making contact. So you're going to have to play with it a little bit, but make sure that, you know, everything lines up. It's a little messy because there's a lot of glue in there. But as the glue dries, then it's easier. So just kind of go around, kind of feeling it. So you're going to end up basically with the bottom of the ball. So it's going to be the top, you're going to do the exact same thing. A little bit of glue there and there and on the tab. Same, same thing, just fold your tabs and then kind of close it in. Again, this one because it's so small and there's, you know, all this glue, it gets a little messy. Just like what we did on the other one, just kind of, you know, work it. You know, push it a little bit. So what this is going to do is going to give you the top part of the ball. So you may want to give it a couple minutes for the glue to set so that it's nice and dry. And once it's all done, then what we're going to do is put it together. 
So we do that by bending all these tabs. It's actually a little less messy if you put the glue on this side. You have know, all the way around and then put the glue by the edge. And then all you have to do is put the two parts together. You know, I can just play with it. Make sure all the taps make good contact. And you have your radar ball. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble the tower. You should have the main tower here, the top, this goes on top, and the optional ball. So we start by folding those tabs and putting a tad of glue on each one of them. Next, you get the tower and you put it in there and you press down. Make sure the tabs are making contact. So you want to do is you want to press down until it can't go any further. And then just kind of look at it and make sure that it's leveled off. So once you see that it's all nice and level, then we can take the top. And what you want to do is you want to use this line to line up this guy. So you put a little glue on the tabs. Little glue on the tabs and then put it in, lining it up with that white line. So just play with it until it's all lined up. You may have to put something heavy here for a little while to hold it down until the glue sets. And then at the end you have the option if you want to use the ball, you can glue the ball. And there you have it, your small 1-200 scale tower.